Good morning. Today I've got an air pressure tool. I use this to air up our tires. It's specifically made for that. It comes with the double end. So you can go at it or under it. It doesn't come with a quick disconnect, so I added one. I always keep a couple of spares around when I, so when I buy new tools. So it's pretty basic. It has a pressure gauge. It has it in pounds per square inch, but it also has metric. And it has a thumb lever, and that's so you can actually put the air in. One odd thing I found is it only gives the pressure if this is up. If you're actually airing up the tire, it won't give pressure. That's not a problem. I just wanted to point it out. I got up to an air hose, and I noticed that when I press this down, when I let off, it zips up there just a little. That's just back pressure from the feed. Kind of weird. Okay, so you activate it by pushing the thumb lever. Has a double end. So let's air up the tire. I'm going to push the nozzle on, see how much pressure is in it. Okay, to twist that around to get a good seal. So it's got 22. So, and I want to go to 32. that air, that hose, this tire was quite a bit low. Your tires lose one pound of pressure per month. So it's been several months since we've had these tires aired up. Typically we only get them aired up when the when they need lined up or rotated. If I bought this I can do it in between. Okay, so let's check the air in one more tire. Twenty-two. And there's thirty-two. I choose 32 for these tires. To find out the right inflation for your tires, you should read the outside of the tire or your owner's manual for your vehicle, one of the two. 32 isn't a universal number. Okay, so there's the tool. Demonstration of the tool seems to work pretty good. I don't know how accurate it is. I didn't test that, but for my use, if it's two to four pounds off, I don't really care. I'll set these all the same. That's one more what I care about. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.